Et bien bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue sur un nouvel épisode de Tell Me Why. Il est temps aujourd'hui d'avoir une discussion avec Eddie, on vient de faire pas mal de découvertes dans la salle des archives, notamment à propos de Tessa, donc on va le questionner. C'est parti The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm... I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Alors Tessa est venue te voir. Elle était en galère. On va le questionner à propos de, de Tessa, justement. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Tessa l'a poignardé dans le dos. Donc tu as appelé les services de protection de l'enfance. Bah c'est ce qu'il dit, il était obligé. Je veux dire, si Tessa a déposé une plainte ou quoi que ce soit, enfin c'est officiel, t'es obligé d'agir, non Moi je trouve que la responsable de, derrière tout ça, c'est plutôt Tessa. Enfin, je sais pas, les, les, les enfants là c'est quand même les, les mieux placés pour dire s'il y avait maltraitance, maltraitance, j'arrive pas à parler, maltraitance, ou euh, je sais plus ce que c'était euh, le terme, mais bref. C'est n'importe quoi, moi je trouve que c'était ça le, le problème là. C'était ça qui est la poignardée dans le dos. A snake pretending to care to be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down. Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. That always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, uncle. C'est des conneries. Alors c'est tout. Alors j'ai pas envie de créer encore du conflit parce que je suis plutôt de son côté, tu vois. En plus tout ce qu'il a fait pour Allison euh, après tout ça, enfin... Est-ce que c'était pour se racheter je, je sais pas, mais... Vraiment, moi le problème c'est je le vois plutôt de côté de Tessa. Lui ensuite a été embarqué dans le truc officiel et bah tu peux pas tout annuler, non Moi j'en veux plutôt à Tessa. Parce qu'elle est bien gentille, tu vois, offrir de la bouffe, ok mais... Là, le truc, c'est que tu fermes ta boutique pendant une semaine, tu, la, tu donnes les clés à ton mari, tu te débrouilles, et tu vas chez ta pote pendant une semaine, un mois, j'en sais rien, et tu gères le truc. Non C'est... Surtout qu'elle n'est pas toute seule dans son magasin, là, il y a son mari, et je veux dire, elle peut lui laisser le, la boutique, non Non, 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 là, c est, c est... pour moi, le problème elle vient vraiment de Tessa. Just like that, huh Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Bon, par contre, Tyler, il est pas de mon avis, hein. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. 
I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. On y arrivera peut-être, mais il faut du temps. Non, ce n'est pas si facile. Ok, euh, moi je suis plutôt partant pour répondre, euh, on y arrivera, arrivera peut-être, mais il faut du temps. Mais là, euh, Tyler, il est, il est très opposé à tout ça. Hein. T'inquiète, on va se venger, je sais sur qui. On va avoir une petite discussion, euh, mais là, je pense qu'il vaut mieux arranger les choses. I'm open to getting there. But... It's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Ah, ça c'est... Pour le coup, c'est très symbolique, là. Group hug? Euh, quand même pas. Uh, no. <rire> ouais, t'exagères là. Yeah, absolument. <rire> Peut-être euh, peut demain. Là, c'est trop tôt. All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <rire> oh yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler. What's up? What's up? Je voudrais présenter des excuses. Oh. I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. Yeah, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Ah, je suis content, ça va mieux. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Nice. Bon, 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 ça c'est bien. Ne serait-ce que pour Allison, parce qu'elle, elle y tenait beaucoup. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Du coup, on s'en va là Attends. Quitter le commissariat. Ok, quittons le commissariat. Tout ça, on connaît. Allons-y. Chin up, stand tall. At a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. On se casse. Moi, je veux aller au magasin de Tessa. Ça va pas bien se passer, moi, je vous le dis. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. On va lui péter les genoux. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Ah, elle regrette. Oh god. 
Mais ouais, mais t'es ça, tu vois, tu pourrais réfléchir avant de faire des trucs pareils, non Oh, on y est vraiment au magasin. Déjà pour le coup de la thérapie de, re de reconversion, tu sais pas quoi là. Genre sur le moment, elle dit oui, ça va bien se passer, puis après elle regrette. Where is everybody? Ça fait deux fois quand même qu'elle nous fait le coup. Be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Très bien. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. What do I see? A big old bull staring me down. So what do I do? Then I grab my out six from the truck and set my sights. Ah bah... Attends, <rire> une seconde. Une seconde, j'arrive, hein. Je fais le tour. Ok. Je vérifie un petit peu partout. Et il n'y a rien du tout. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh hey ah, mais lui, on le connaît. From the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Méfiez-vous, un hein, des personnages qui pop comme ça, c'est la deuxième fois qu'on le voit. Ouais, ouais. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. She took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Vous imaginez que le gars d'à côté, ça se trouve, c'est le gars qui a voulu acheter la maison cash. C'est le père qui rôde et qui est le chasseur fou. C'est lui là. C'est lui à côté. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's going to be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Bon, tu n'as servi à rien. Merci beaucoup. On peut lui parler. Attendez, attendez, attendez. Écoutez bien. Doing some shopping? Yep. Just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. Ok. Ah, mais il y avait une question à propos de Tessa. So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not going to report you. But it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. I'll do that. Wow, okay. Super. Oh, but it's what? I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched it. You could use some of that at the house. But it turns out I was also scheduled to work at the store today. Michael, Michael. Hey boy. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way ah. over soon. <laughs> Hello, Tyler. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. Vaguement. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. 
I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Oh la la. Lui, tu vois, il est déjà en mode politicien. Oh, ça ne me concerne pas, euh, vaguement. Euh. Ah, je, je ne vous entends pas, je ne vois pas les rageux, tu vois. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. On comprend ça. Le seul moyen de guérir, c'est de connaître la vérité. Alors, je sais pas si c'est le seul moyen de guérir, mais en tout cas, en ce qui me concerne, ça me ronge quand je ne sais pas les trucs, même s'ils font mal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Ah, mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Hmm, on se rapproche quand même de l'histoire du père, du coup, hein? But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Eh, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Woo! Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I... I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Moi, ça me paraît au contraire. Tyler, join me when you're done. Interessant, sure je dirais. Just give me a sec. Sûrement pour avoir quelques souvenirs. Where'd that question about our father come from? Bah ouais, j'avoue que c'est venu un petit peu de nulle part, même si nous on a fait des théories, mais lui, bon, j'aimerais bien savoir qui c'est. Ce qu'il sait, pardon. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey. So, you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Tu ne seras pas seul. On laisse tomber alors Bah, ne pas y aller, ça veut pas dire laisser tomber, mais je serai avec toi de toute façon là. De toute façon, elle, elle a un discours. Oh, attendez, faut que je choisisse vite. Elle veut know, tout arrêter en fait, elle veut passer too. à autre chose. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me. Huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. 
D'accord, donc elle, elle fait le... Elle fait la caisse. C'est ici Non. L'autre porte Ah oui. All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Ton boulot n'est pas si difficile. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Uh -huh. On est reparti en mode euh, mini jeu là. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. You know, when you think about it. Glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Ouf, c'était profond ça. <rire> en fait, faut qu'on cherche les. Euh... Qu'est-ce qu'il cherchait là, les... les conserves de quoi ou? Ah si, c'est ça, c'est ça. I wonder what's in that box. Hold on, let me count this. Faut vraiment qu'on compte. Attendez, j'ai encore ma souris là qui baisse le son. Je vais y arriver. Voilà. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door, on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Mais c'est ce qui est en bas là, non? Six. All right. Not bad, Tyler. <laughs> J'espère que c'est le bon bidon. Careful. <laughs> They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Attends. Oui, c'est bon, c'est bon. Bleach, c'est ça. Et là, vous avez le beurre de cacachuette. Très important, le beurre de cacachuette. Cheddar dip uh, Yuck. Ah, sauce au cheddar Annulé C'est pas ça Oh, God. Annulé. Oh Is that the mangy muskrat Yes. C'est qui qui est à côté, là Attendez. Objet à collectionner, le rat musqué. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. Et c'est censé représenter euh, Michael parce que ça craint, non Yikes, that's unsettling. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. For the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I <laughs> see it. Donc ça, Why didn't he try to make himself look a little more ah. air like He looks like a cartoon college professor. C'est censé représenter Tom, ça Bah, dis donc. Bah, dis donc. S'asseoir. Tired already D'accord. On va continuer notre job. What's up I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me Yeah, come on, look at the hair Nailed it, right? Tu as une marge de progression. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get. 
cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Ah. Attends, c'est pas le truc qu'on a vu? Okay. You found the box of plushies? Oui. This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. No, 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 no. Je sais. Je sais. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. No, mais voilà, mais ça sert à rien, mais j'aime bien regarder quand même. The only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. J'aime bien checker, mais normalement c'est ça. So... Oh, c'est immonde. Euh, faut te dire combien il y en a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Bah, 11 alors, on va dire. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ow! Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Ouh là là. Cool. Dans quoi on s'engage là? Oh, pop, pop, pop. <rire> gotcha. Vas-y. Si tu l'oses. Ah, je peux bouger. Aha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Tu vas voir. Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah? We'll see. Hey, tu veux pas sortir de là? Hop, 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 hop. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Gros, gros gameplay. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Shibugas? Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Mais, il me drague complètement, non? Ou je rêve? Tiens, tiens, boom. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? Oh. That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh la la, mais vous êtes tellement chou. T'es vraiment au petit soin, ouais. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Bon, ferme le frigo là. Et il est trop gentil lui. <laughs> On le garde. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or...? Nah. 
but same clan. Mm -hmm. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm done. Is this Chief Brown? Non, non, attends, attends, attends. Laisse-moi regarder euh, la meilleure mayonnaise, là. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent. But it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. Tu n'aimes pas tellement Tessa? So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. Hmm. No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's all right. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. C'est vrai qu'on le voit pas du tout devenir maire. Lui, il a l'air, euh, bah, comme il dit, euh, mou du genou. Il a pas de charisme, en fait. Je sais plus qui a dit ça. Mais, mais euh, ouais, bon. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. All right. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a hmm. few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. <laughs> I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah. I don't, but thank you. Ok, donc c'était ça ton petit numéro euh, en se balançant des peluches dans les rayons. J'ai bien compris. No <rire> non, j'en fais pas des caisses, ça. No va. way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <rire> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? We took two hits before going to the show, and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. Not our finest hour. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. Yeah, 
figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. Mm -hmm. J'ai bien compris, hein, ça fait un moment que tu tournes autour du pot. T'es pas trop mal, toi non plus. <laughs> But you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Oh la la! So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said <laughs> you came to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. <laughs> Stop. Ah, je sais pas, moi je l'aime bien. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Bon, je crois que j'ai démarré une romance sans le voir venir. <laughs> Mais bon. Pourquoi pas? Pourquoi pas après tout? Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Bon, là, ça va être beaucoup plus lourd, je pense, comme ambiance, hein. Si on se rend sur la tombe de Marianne. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after. You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? I never wanted to come back here. Yeah. That makes two of us. En vrai, je devrais peut-être faire une pause ici. Parce que là, on va débuter une scène, mais bon. J'ai quand même envie de continuer, quoi. Allons-y. Tiens, regarde, il y a même un petit chemin secret là sur la droite. Pour découvrir des magnifiques choses. Hey, Braves are back that way. Ou pas du tout. D'accord. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, 
they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot, but... Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Il était un petit peu bizarre ce souvenir. Déjà, des souvenirs dans le cimetière là Enfin, je veux dire, t'emmènes souvent tes enfants au cimetière comme ça Bon là, c'était pour voir peut-être la, la mère d'Eddie, c'est ça Je pense. Mais euh, c'était bizarre. J'avais l'impression que le discours disait « Même si je suis plus là, je serai toujours avec vous, tu vois ?» Genre « Bon, bah, je vais pas tarder à me suicider, tu vois ?» Je sais pas, j'ai trouvé ça un petit peu lourd. Je sais pas si vous avez euh, interprété comme moi. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on a À cause de l'interdiction nationale des religions et modes de vie autochtones, une grande partie des connaissances et des traditions spirituelles des Tlingit se sont perdues. Ci-dessous se trouvent deux exemples éternels de l'amour et de la vénération que nous continuons à exprimer à nos défunts selon la tradition de nos ancêtres. Faire le deuil de ceux qui sont passés de l'autre côté. Comme l'amour qui transcende toutes les frontières, le décès d'un membre du clan est un événement ressenti par la par toute la communauté. Les gens se rassemblent pour faire le deuil d'un être cher et remonter le moral des membres du clan opposé. Du clan opposé Est-ce qu'il y a un clan opposé Lorsque l'on fait le deuil d'un aigle, les corbeaux offrent tout leur amour et leur force au clan des aigles, au clan des aigles, d'accord Et de même, lorsque l'on fait le deuil d'un corbeau, les aigles sont là pour leur corbeau. D'accord Après la cérémonie, il est d'usage que les membres de la moitié opposée réconforte la famille endeuillée en lui apportant ses atouts <rire> pardon quoi objet d'apparat du clan <rire> je ne sais pas comment on prononce euh, ce mot pour recueillir symboliquement les larmes avant qu'elles ne touchent le sol et apporter son soutien aux membres du clan qui ont perdu l'un des leurs c'est sympa ça donc là on voit les, les traditions spirituelles justement et ça, c'en est une autre. Célébrer la vie. La fête des 40 jours a lieu 40 jours après le décès pour rendre hommage aux défunts. Certaines personnes pensent qu'il s'agit d'une tradition plus récente. Les membres de la famille organisent un repas pendant lequel une assiette d'aliments est brûlée pour nourrir et réconforter l'esprit du défunt. Un an ou plus après le décès, un QX potlatch <rire> se tient d'abord pour faire le deuil, puis pour célébrer la vie du disparu. Il est organisé par le clan du défunt et sert à honorer le membre du clan décédé grâce à une cérémonie traditionnelle, à montrer sa reconnaissance et à payer ses dettes envers la moitié opposée qui a soutenu le clan pendant la période du deuil. D'accord, bon, 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 bon. C'est vrai que on a tendance à se dire, oui, il euh, y, y a très peu de religions, mais en fait, il y a plein... Je sais même pas si on peut appeler ça une religion, mais... Toutes ces idées spirituelles, euh, il enfin, y en a beaucoup en fait. Hein. Ah. Ah. Building a house right next to the cemetery. Hard to think of a worse idea than that. Well, look at Michael. Some people actually go to cemeteries willingly. People with functional families, I guess. Yeah, you let me know if you ever meet one of those. <laughs> Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so... yes. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Attends, attends, attends. Je check ici. On est censé euh, checker toutes les pierres tombales. Ben, short and simple. I like it. Come on, there's only a handful left. À la prochaine, l'ami.
Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while, his face pops up. It's super weird. Bon, c'est pas du tout creepy de faire le tour des tombes. Et Michael est là-bas. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. Guess again. Mais parce que vous savez pas où elle est la tombe, j'ai pas compris. Une existence rythmée de souvenirs. Un serpentard. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh yeah, and he always blasts the horn for us. This might take a while. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Ah non, c'est la tombe des, des parents de Tessa qu'on cherchait. D'accord, donc effectivement on l'a raté. Kids. It's time. Bien sûr, ça me semblait logique. Pour honorer ceux qui ne sont plus avec nous, la communauté de préservation des Tlingit et la communauté de Delos dédient ce monument au lien éternel entre les générations passées, présentes et futures. Que le souvenir de nos chers défunts ne se perde jamais dans le chaos de l'histoire, que cet endroit offre le repos à nos proches qui sont passés de sur l'autre rive, que notre amour éternel apaise les plaies des jours passés vers un horizon plus radieux. Ne pas dormir sur les tombes. Très bien. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so... Can I help you guys out somehow? Comment était ton oncle? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, makes you look like he got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex? Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost 
in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> Lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Ah. Vous savez où que je vous entends. <laughs> Elle est jalouse de mon physique. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains. So. Oh man, you two are such a pair. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. C'est vrai qu'il y avait une histoire de coloc, hein, donc on peut très bien se mettre ensemble et faire une coloc euh, avec la sœur aussi, hein. Ça peut faire un super truc. Où est-ce qu'on va, du coup Parce que... Est-ce qu'il faut que je reste assis Je retente. Est-ce que j'ai raté une option dans les dialogues How's it going Bah ben non, pourtant. Talk to you later. You bet. Attends, peut-être que je peux partir là-bas. Ce petit portail là. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Bon, 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 bon. Ok, il y a une sauvegarde ici. Vous savez quoi On va faire une pause avant d'arriver. Euh... Au moment crucial. De toute façon, il y a deux moments. Il y a Tessa qui doit être dans le coin. D'ailleurs, en fait, elle est là-bas. On va la trouver à la tombe de la mère. Voilà pourquoi elle n'est plus là. Oh, ça, va être, ça va être terrible. Ça va être terrible. Hein. Soyez là à l'épisode prochain. Euh, à mon avis, ça va, ça va barder. J'espère que celui-ci vous aura plu. On a démarré une romance. Hein. Bon, je crois. On verra ce que ça donne dans les épisodes prochains. Voilà. Je vous dis à demain, des bisous, bye bye.